Welcome to the American AVK Series 766 Double Eccentric Butterfly Valve Overview Module. In this module, you'll learn all about the AVK Series 766 Double Eccentric Butterfly Valve, including history, function, standards compliance and testing, construction features, product range, and technical information. The Series 766 Double Eccentric Butterfly Valve was developed specifically for the North American market. These are large diameter butterfly valves that range from 24 inches through 48 inches. To learn about our smaller diameter butterfly valves, please review the AVK Series 816 Butterfly Valve Overview Module. The main function of a butterfly valve is to shut off the flow of water. There are some cases where a butterfly valve can be used as a regulating valve. However, there are issues to consider when using a butterfly valve as a regulating valve. The upstream and downstream pressures, the flow rate, and whether cavitation will occur, which can cause damage to the butterfly valve. So be sure to discuss this option with AVK before using the Series 766 as a regulating valve. The AVK Series 766 Butterfly Valve meets or exceeds the requirements of AWWA C504, which is the AWWA standard for butterfly valves. The epoxy coating meets or exceeds AWWA C550, which is the standard for the protective interior coatings for valves and hydrants. The AVK 766 butterfly valves are certified to NSF 61 for the health effects of drinking water and NSF 372 for the low lead requirements of the Safe Drinking Water Act. And as always, they are manufactured in an ISO 9001, ISO 14001 certified facility. As required by AWWA C504, the Series 766 butterfly valves have completed extensive proof of design testing. The tests require that a 36 inch valve be cycle tested for 5,000 cycles and a 48 inch valve be cycle tested for 1,000 cycles. All cycle testing was completed at 250 psi unbalanced pressure. Now let's discuss the design and construction of the AVK Series 766 Double Eccentric Butterfly Valve. Shown here is an AVK Series 766 flange by flange butterfly valve, equipped with an AVK gearbox and a handwheel. For buried versions, op nuts will be available on the gearbox. The Series 766 is a double eccentric design butterfly valve. This means the stem has two offsets. There's an offset which will be up or downstream, as there would be for a single eccentric butterfly valve, and there is a slight offset towards the pipe sidewall. There are two advantages to the double eccentric design. One is that you have lower seat wear. Due to the camming action of the double offset, the stainless steel of the valve disc doesn't just sweep the rubber seat when it closes, it also compresses it. And two, when the valve is fully open, there is no stress on the rubber seat because no part of the stainless steel seat of the disc contacts the rubber seat of the valve body when the valve is fully open. The valves have a preferred direction of flow, but can be ordered bidirectional if required. AVK's competitor in North America for the double eccentric design is VAG. They have an ANSI flange, but don't offer a mechanical joint. Our other competitors only offer the single eccentric design. A big advantage of the Series 766 butterfly valve is the MJMJ version. The MJMJ version is long enough that it can be installed with PVC pipe without beveling the pipe for disc clearance. It can also accommodate some HDPE pipe. Our competitors require the PVC pipe edges to be beveled. We can also install an anode lug on these valves for cathodic protection. The feet on the valve body can be drilled and tapped for anode lugs, similar to the Series 65 gate valves and the Series 27 fire hydrants. The AVK Series 766 is a seat-in-the-body design. 
It's field repairable by injecting epoxy behind the seat and field replaceable by removing the existing seat and epoxy, installing a new seat, refilling with epoxy, and repressurizing. The seat for our valve is currently EPDM. In the future, NBR will also be available. The disc is a flow-through design. This means lower head loss because water can flow through the openings in the disc. This also improves disc stiffness without increasing the weight, so it's a more efficient design. The body and disc are ductile iron. The disc edge is 316 stainless steel. It's retained by being rolled onto the disc. The rubber seal in the valve body is EPDM, but NBR will eventually be an option. The stems for the Class 150 valves are 431 stainless steel, and the stems for the Class 250 are 174 pH stainless steel. The stem seals are NBR, and the hardware to bolt the valve together is 304 stainless steel. The disc edge is 316 stainless steel. It has an O-ring backing to prevent water from leaking from one side of the disc seal to the other. The disc edge is coated before the stainless steel seat is installed to prevent corrosion. The stems are protected by four O-rings, which are made of NBR. The two interior and two exterior O-rings are mounted in a bronze O-ring cartridge. These stem seals are replaceable without removing or disassembling the valve. The AVK Series 766 is designed to prevent water from entering the stem area. There is an O-ring where the valve stem enters the disc to prevent water from entering the disc. This prevents corrosion from occurring inside the disc and weakening the pins. There is also an O-ring cartridge at the top of the stem where it goes through the valve body. This O-ring cartridge is replaceable without disassembling the butterfly valve. Finally, the interior of the hub is also sealed with an O-ring. The disc is retained to the stem with stainless steel stem pins. The stem pins are protected by O-rings on each pin. The pins are also protected from corrosion by a stainless steel plate which retains a rubber gasket. This sealing system ensures that the pin area is protected from water intrusion and also prevents water from getting into the hub area of the disc. The upper and lower stems are supported by PTFE-coated steel bearings and also supported by an axial bearing. Now on to the product range. The AVK Series 766 has a valve size range from 24 through 48 inches. The end connections through the full range are flange by flange or MJ by MJ. They have a pressure class of 150B or 250B. The B stands for the flow velocity and means that these valves are rated for up to 16 feet per second. The AWWA standard also lists 150A and 250A, which would mean that the valves were only rated for 8 feet per second but most competitors in the North American market are 150B or 250B. The valves have a preferred direction of flow, but can be ordered bidirectional if required. The accessories available for the Series 766 butterfly valves are the AVK Series 767 traveling net gearboxes, Rotorque worm gears, and electric motor operators. Other accessories will be developed as requested and will most likely include extension stands with torque tubes, pneumatic operators, ground level position indicators, hydraulic cylinder actuators, and different colors. Let's go over the technical information of the Series 766 butterfly valve. The AVK Series 766 is a double eccentric butterfly valve. These valves do have a preferred direction of seating. The valve body has an arrow that points in the preferred direction of flow, and also towards the side the rubber seat is located on. In the example here, the arrow is pointing to the left, and the seat is on the left side of the valve. So the pressure side of the valve should be to the right, because we want the flow to go from the right to the left. 
It's important to remember that the arrow does not point towards the pressure side. It points in the direction of flow. Customers must specify if bi-directional sealing is required. When at the job site, it's important to ensure that these valves are installed in the correct direction. Torque is the twisting force required to open and close the butterfly valve. Butterfly valve torque is classified into two categories, static torque and dynamic torque. The static forces that add to the opening and closing torques of a butterfly valve are seating compression and friction, friction from the stem seals and bearings, and friction from the thrust bearing. The components from dynamic torque may include the weight and center of gravity of the disc, hydrodynamic torque from the fluid flow acting on the disc, and hydrostatic unbalanced loads. For example, hydrodynamic torque acts as the butterfly valve opens or closes. The required torque to move the valve can change as the disc moves. Why is this? Well, when the disc is opening or closing, you have higher pressure on one side and lower pressure on the other. These asymmetrical pressures can make the disc more difficult or less difficult to move. This is usually only an issue with butterfly valves that are greater than 36 inches in diameter. The AVK Series 766 was modeled on the AVK Series 756, which is a double eccentric butterfly valve sold internationally by AVK. The AVK Series 766 and the Series 756 have very similar head loss curves. Shown here is the head loss data for the Series 756. Now that you've completed this training, let's review the highlights of the module. In this module, you learned that the main function of a butterfly valve is to shut off the flow of water. The Series 766 butterfly valve is a double eccentric design valve and ranges from 24 to 48 inches. It's available with flange by flange and MJ by MJ end connections and is available in pressure classes 150B and 250B. This valve meets or exceeds the requirements of AWWA C504 for butterfly valves and AWWA C550 for epoxy coatings. The double eccentric design means the stem has two offsets, one which is up or downstream and one toward the pipe sidewall. The two advantages of the double eccentric design are lower seat wear and, when the valve is fully open, there is no stress on the rubber seat. The valve is bidirectional, although there is a preferred direction of flow. There's an arrow on the side of the valve that points in the direction of flow, as well as the side the seat is on. The arrow does not point to the pressure side. Customers must specify if bidirectional sealing is required. Congratulations! You've completed this module.